hi guys welcome and welcome back on my channel so today's video will be me showing you how i take care of my hair after a silk press i did a silk press on my hair two weeks ago and as you maybe might know for your information i wash my hair twice a month so this is my first uh, wash day after two weeks and you just saw the amount of hair that I've lost. That was the hair that I've lost during detangling my hair before getting in the shower. For my hair care, I like to use my first little shampoo from Kera Care. This is a deep cleanser shampoo. That means it's gonna remove all of the oil, dirt and styling product that I put on my hair without stripping my hair. And I also make sure that I add enough of this shampoo on my hair since I am not going to use it twice. So remember this is a cleanser shampoo. It leaves your hair dry. So that means you always have to proceed with a moisturizing shampoo. So after this I'm going to rinse off my hair and then proceed with my hydrating detangling shampoo also from Kera Care. And what this shampoo does, this hydrating detangling shampoo adds moisture, hydration and leaves my hair very soft. And as you maybe might already know or seen, I am a relaxer and I have high porosity hair. When you have high porosity hair, it is very important that you use products that are going to help to seal uh, your hair cuticles. So it's very important. For this hydrating detangle shampoo, I'm gonna use it twice and then I'm gonna proceed with the next step. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I always like to leave my hydrating detangle shampoo on my hair for two minutes just to have like or get the better benefit from the shampoo it's just something i like to do so yeah and it is me doing some crazy dance on the background <laughs> For step 2, I'm going to use my deep conditioner and this deep conditioner will be the Humecto Creme. The first thing I need to towel dry my hair before using the Humecto Creme on my hair. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my deep conditioner. So I'm going to use my Humecto Creme, uh, some extra virgin olive oil and my avocado oil. So I'm going to add uh, 1 teaspoon of each oil and mix that with my Humecto Creme. I don't have any measurement of my of how like the quantity of the humecto cream. I just like put enough that I can have enough of uh, of it on my hair for my hair. I don't have very long hair, but I have thick hair, so you just need to see the quantity uh, your hair you hair need. I saw this tip from Hair Lucius. Uh, she's a YouTuber that is also relaxed. And I found this tip very, very, very uh, interesting because adding oil is uh, so uh, nourishing to your hair. So I think this is a very nourishing tip for your hair, especially if you have a high porosity hair. Your hair uh, really needs a lot of moisturization and this is like the best of it in my opinion. For me, it will be the second time using this, like this. So before applying my deep conditioner, I always make sure my hair is sectioned in four sections, especially when I have a lot of new growth. Like right now, I am 12, 12 weeks post to my relaxer, and there is a, uh, I also like to try different type of method. Like uh, recently, I've been using my finger to detangle my hair instead of using a comb. So I'm just going to apply the leave-in conditioner and just massage into uh, in my hair and yes, just using uh, my finger instead of a, of a, a comb. 
and I think this uh, method worked best for my hair because when my hair is wet it is very fragile and I also read somewhere I don't even know where I read it but in a blog like that when your hair is wet it is uh, it is most fragile so you only bring a lot of harm to your hair by combing it when it is wet uh, right now my hair is not wet but it is wet it is not dripping wet but it is wet so i really uh, pay as i pay attention to that and avoid to uh, use a, a a comb and this is something that i've recently started doing it so i'm just also uh, like just see if that works better for my hair and and if i see some progress in it so yes you can try it yourself and like i said i'm not a, a a dermatologist or a scientific or i don't know those difficult other words but i really try to to read into hair and see what i can do better what i can change what i did wrong and that i do better now so every day is a learning uh, process for me and i also like to share it with you guys so don't go and try to do the same thing uh, like i do or try to use the same product just uh, try to like know your hair type your hair porosity better and then go and, and uh, purchase the product for your hair because my hair type can be different than your hair type and if you just uh, gonna use the same product that I'm using uh, it might not work for your hair because your hair type and your hair porosity uh, request something different so I don't want you to make the same mistake that I've, that I've made in the past by just uh, buying products and products and products and then ending up with this product that didn't work for my hair and I was just stuck with all of them and I just didn't understand why and how and why me so please think twice do your research before buying a product So the last step of this hair care is to end with a blowout. I am only going to blow out my new growth because that really helped me to uh, stretch my relaxer for 6 months. And I'm also going to use two new products that I start using also from Kera Care. And that is the Silk and Seal Liquid Shine and the Detangling Conditioning Mist this two product i'm gonna make a separate video about it because this will be my first time using it so i want to use it a second time or a third time to see if this product is really uh continue doing the things that it does to my hair because i really loved it uh, how it felt on my hair so um like i said i'm trying new uh new method i usually like to leave my my hair air dry and i didn't like how my hair uh, felt afterward my hair felt frizzy uh, brittle and it was just so not okay so now i just tried this new motor to just blow out my new growth to stretch it out and then leave the hair air dry so by the time that i'm blowing out my new growth the rest of my hair is actually already uh, um, kind of dry but not completely dry because I never like to uh, blow dry my hair um, very dry I always like to blow dry it for 
70 to 80 percent so that is the safe and best way to to use a blow dryer so i am going to speed up this video because i don't want you to to see me detangling my hair all the way because this really take time so as you saw i'm using three different comb because i believe that a white tooth comb cannot fully detangle uh, your hair you you will still have some knots in your hair and you need a much more smaller comb so yes guys i'm gonna put i'm gonna i'm gonna speed up this video and then we're just gonna continue with the uh blow drying So this is the amount of hair that I've lost from the tangling and I bought myself a new blow dryer that I'm so happy with this one and this is my older one I'm not gonna use it anymore no nada trada bye before blow drying my hair I'm gonna spray this silk and seal liquid chain on my hair this uh, liquid will also help me to protect my hair from the blowout and it's uh, it's gonna soften my hair and seals my hair cuticles i'm gonna section my hair in small section to blow out my new growth and i'm gonna put my heat on a low heat i mean sorry i'm gonna put it on medium heat and on high speed so i like this blow dryer because it has this uh, this option uh, that you can choose from different settings so it is nice and the difference with this is also that it has a diffuser so that's why I could like put it so close to my hair for five seconds I speed up this video that's why it looks so so much shorter but it is five seconds and I went three times over my new growth and yes as you can see most of them the curl has uh, has stretched so that is good and I'm gonna still uh, continue with detangling my hair you know knots are everywhere like they come they go but once I spray this uh, liquid chain on my hair I really really felt that my cuticles was uh, was sealed because when your cuticles are not sealed that they, they tangle a lot and it just uh, it just add more knots in your hair so guys i'm gonna speed up this video this part again because uh, it, it really took me time to do this process and i don't want this video to last forever so i cut some part just that it can speed up and we can move on to the next but this is my last 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 step so stay with me <laughs> Alright guys, this video has come to an end. Now I'm just uh, avoiding this part and see how beautiful this uh, curl is. That shows that my hair was not 100% dry. It, was, it is now 80% dry. And yeah, it is how I take care of my hair after my silk press. And now I'm just gonna add my essential oil from Care to just give it a finishing touch and 
yes guys let me know what you think about this tutorial I am really um, amazed by the new product that I started using the silking uh, sheen product and the detangling leave-in conditioner I really really thank you for watching this far if you have watched this video so far please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'm gonna see you on the next video thank you again for watching bye